Well, hello everyone. You have right here of talking about you know, with insurance policies right here. You know, what is a good example of uh, talking about for an insurance policy? And I'm sure most of us here have heard that to where that when we do talk about the insurance premiums and insurance policies, that uh, they are basically uh, another way of saying this to where that uh, when we talk about, you know, purchasing uh, insurance and then also when it comes to any other source of protection, right? But uh, what I have put right here it is an example right here of an umbrella right here. And if we can all see this right here, that this right here is an example right here of an umbrella right here. So it's like, yeah, so whenever you're going to be, um, you know, young and 102, that, uh, you know, really, what is a good example of, uh, of an insurance policy? And what's the best way of how to explain to our kids about what it is and, uh, you know, how, what's the, the reasons for it? And, uh, and uh, to me, though, that uh, I would look at the, if this is toward it, uh, that, yeah, you know, uh, you know how it is, is that whenever you're going to be uh, walking underneath an umbrella, right? You're going to be walking underneath an umbrella, and then you, know, you would look at, you at, the, at the reflection, look at the shadows and everything from where it reflected, right? And uh, so that's why it seems that way to where it uh, that when we do talk about the insurance policies a lot of times, insurance premiums, that um, we're also talking about is that, uh, that yeah, you know, uh, stand by, you know, we, we are by your side or something like that. So half the time it seems like that, yeah, that uh, whenever you do buy an insurance policy, and let's just say if this right here was an example right here of me right here, and let's just say that they say that, you know, yeah, that, you know, if you have mom... Or dad standing right here, right by your side, right here with an umbrella right here. And then maybe another reason why I picked this right here as an example right here is because if it's going to be a rainy day, a stormy rainy day, and uh, thinking as toward, okay, yeah, the umbrella is supposed to show some source of protection. You know, it's supposed to you know prevent you from getting wet, and it's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to uh, form like a, some source of protection uh, right you know right up above you right and so each time you do think about that that you're thinking is toward it um you know okay yeah for every day that matters for the every day that matters you know from the unexpected tomorrow and uh, a lot of times a lot of these insurance companies would say something like you know like a slogan such as uh you know something like uh you know yeah you know for for bright you know for you know brighter opportunities knowing it is toward it uh a lot of the unknown is uh, going to be expected, right? You know, you, you know, you just never know uh, what could possibly happen if, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, how important is it to you that you go ahead and have insurance, and for any reason at all that you know, you think that somebody else should have insurance? And let's just say that um, that if you do buy an expensive pair of shoes. Or maybe if you're going to be outside, if you're going to be outside and everybody might say that, uh, can you think of a number of things that, uh, that you would think that you would maybe see to where that why you would recommend, you know, for somebody to buy insurance? And uh, one of those reasons would more likely be is this toward, okay, yeah, that uh, you know what insurance is, don't you? Like, and yeah, it's, an, it's a source of a, a protection that you can get. But really, that uh, another way... Uh, of uh, when we do talk about insurance, by the way, another way if you want to look at it is, is to where it's like a guide to where that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, in case of, uh, just in case of, uh, of of a matter that happens, or just in case that this situation were to get much worse, or like, uh, yeah, it's another way of saying is to where that you have uh, an extra, an extra level of protection whenever it comes to uh, the worst possibility, you know, worst so, you know, pot, you know, situations that come up, right? And um, and so that is why it seems that way to where each time you do think about that in your 102, that, uh, you know, talk about for insurance, that uh, if this right here was me right here, but everybody might say that, uh, you know, yeah, you know, the first thing that you think about whenever you do think about insurance, right, is uh, about, is as to where, yeah, that, uh, you know, I don't see no reason why I need it, or whichever you want to call it, but still. But let's just say that, uh, on average, that, um, I'm like, let's just say that maybe in case of your, 
if your shirt gets torn or something like that. You know, like everybody might say that uh, just in case if maybe if um, if maybe that, that you ran into an accident, you had an accident to where one one part of your shirt was torn right there, or maybe that uh, that you tried washing your clothes after they were dirty. You tried washing your clothes after they were dirty, and it didn't turn out right whenever you know, after you washed them. And so that's why it seems that way to where each time you think about insurance, though, you know, what exactly does that mean? You know, just to have insurance, and um, everybody might say that you know. Well, I think most of us would know uh, what it means. You know, just to have insurance, it's an extra level of protection, right? But um, everybody might say that. Uh, uh no, actually, um, insurance is all about you know. In case of we're all one or two, that um, that whenever we do speak about insurance. By the way, in insurance premiums, that uh, it's another way of saying is to where that uh, you know, yeah, that they're just uh, it's supposed to be another way of showing more support and curiosity whenever it comes to uh, you know, yeah, something that you can use for later on. And most of the time, that uh, a lot of these insurance companies might say that you just never know when you might need this. You know, you know, yeah, so it's, it's supposed to be like, uh, another way is like a to where the, yeah, it's supposed to help, uh, to where it's, uh, you know, in case of this situation were to happen to where, an, if it's going to be, uh, you know, an incident or a disaster or something like that were to happen. So everybody might say, yeah, over about what's predicted and all that. And, um, so half the time, it seems like, um, in case of anybody's 102, that, uh, that another reason, maybe why anybody uh, would uh, buy insurance is because is about the fact about that uh yeah just in case if something goes wrong then you can go ahead and get it fixed you know you can get a replacement of some sort or like everybody might say that um that whenever you do buy insurance you won't have to worry about uh the cause of of the incident you know, it's already taken care of for you and uh so really that uh do we necessarily think that uh you know yeah you don't get all free stuff whenever you have insurance but on the other hand that whenever you do think about insurance a lot of ways that uh, you're thinking this toward okay yeah whenever you have insurance by the way uh, that um it's another way is like you know, yeah stand by it's all about you know that we uh we will uh guide you through for what needs to be done and you know, help guide you for what uh for what's that what's that need and all that and um show more support you know to show support so i know that uh, everybody might even say that um uh, that whenever it comes to uh insurance though that uh one a good example for sure would be is this tour that uh you know yeah that um you know, I'm using an, an umbrella right here as an example, and half the time it's like, yeah, everybody might say that, uh, you know, why do you think an umbrella would be an example of why you should be, a, you know, why you should buy a standard or basic type of insurance plan? And um, it's like, you know, yeah, that you, know, you just never know what could possibly happen by the time you walk out that, you know, by the time you leave uh, the office there and then find out that uh something was broken you know, something had uh, gotten damaged or something uh you know, had gotten lost and it and so that's why it seems that way to where that uh each time you do think about insurance policies and all that that um at the time it seems like you know everybody might say that uh we know exactly what it means it's all about is this toward yeah well they're, they're just trying to raise money you know so that way uh, they can go ahead and tell you that uh you know, yeah, we're just we're just trying to make money. You know, anybody who's who's uh, over the age of 15 for sure would get a better understanding about what's the reason why you should have insurance. But but let's just say that uh, if some younger adult were to say that um, that yeah, you know, don't you think that uh, having insurance also means is to where that, that that there are benefits that you can get. You know, there are extra benefits. That the longer that you've been on the insurance policy, that the more benefits that you could get. And um, 
So really, why would you want to use an umbrella for an example? Well, you know, in case of anybody's one o two, that you got you got the idea just by staring at an umbrella. And I can tell you one thing, everybody, that uh, while staring at an umbrella, I got the idea about the fact that uh, the yeah, you know, what the what the worst possibility could have been, you know, came down right here out of the sky right here. So that's one of the reasons why I want to use this right here. As an example, you got right here is an umbrella right here. That umbrella right there is supposed to capture, it's supposed to filter the bad stuff. It's supposed to capture the bad stuff and then uh, and sweet and like uh, keep it uh, and prevent it that you know, from you know, that you know that situations from getting too you know, getting too bad. And so that's why it seems that way. That uh, you know, yeah, standing underneath an umbrella with your raincoat on got you an idea of uh, why you would want to buy insurance and. Um, and so that's why it seems that way to where that uh, when we do speak about uh, insurance, by the way, that uh, yeah, we might even think too that um, that okay, yeah, that um, if you were to actually purchase insurance, by the way, uh, then it, that would maybe mean as to where that yeah, that uh, but still, what if you already have insurance? Somebody you know inside the household, and let's just say. That uh, if you're going to be told that question to where that uh, they don't have insurance, they don't know how it works or something like that, or that they don't know the benefits for what they can get. So it sure seems that way that uh, that every time you do think about this, and like say, really, why would an umbrella be used for an example? And I'll explain to everybody why. How many people do you think that would want to get underneath this umbrella if, if all of them can really see that uh, the weather gets bad enough to where they got to stand underneath that umbrella. You know, there was only two people who were standing underneath this umbrella right here because it was raining real hard. And uh, let's just say if the weather got to be too bad or something like that, then um, then, then they would, uh, you know, they would want to, you know, go underneath that umbrella, you know, so that way they would not get wet, you know, so that way they would not get wet and maybe... To prepare for the natural disasters and all that. So it's like, uh, so every time you do think about that, and you're 102, that, uh, that yeah, why do you think that anybody uh, would uh, buy insurance, and maybe why do you think anybody would get the the big picture just by looking at something like this? But in case of anybody's 102, that uh, whenever you do look at an umbrella for sure, that uh, you might think is toward, yeah, it's supposed to prevent you from getting wet. You know, it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to provide some source of protection to where you don't get as wet, and then also uh, that uh, it's supposed to the cover. You know, it's supposed to help cover you with uh, from uh, anything that you know any you know anything that may fall from the sky or anything that's coming down from the sky and all that. So it's like, uh, so yeah, that um, another reason maybe why I picked an umbrella for an example is because that uh, you know yeah. All the stuff that's coming down on top of the umbrella right here, you know, that could be maybe pieces of uh, our debris, or that could maybe be other things that are falling from the sky that maybe that you don't see right away. Yeah, you may not see it right away, and so that's why it seems that way that uh, you know you use an umbrella for an example, just because that uh, from what could be falling from nearly uh, you know a hundred uh, hundred feet up above that uh, you know, you just you just never know uh, what could possibly be the, the worst thing possibly that can happen. And so that is why it seems that way to where that everybody might say that, uh, you know, having insurance is also important for that reason. And uh, so that's why it seems that way to where that, yeah. So if you were to actually buy insurance, then uh, people might say that, yeah, well, you don't really, you know, even use it very much anyhow. But uh, in case of anybody's 102, that... Uh, you know, really, why do you think that you would tell your mom or your dad or anybody that, uh, you know, the most important reasons why you would want to go ahead and buy insurance and why you would want to get insurance? And um, for sure that, uh, you know, you would tell them that uh, based on their experience with the worst possibilities that could happen. And uh, you would also tell your mom and dad both that... Um, that yeah, it's a, it's supposed to save money. It's not supposed to 
you know, it's not supposed to co continue and cost you more money, and so that's why it seems that way, that uh, each time you do think about that in your 102, that, um, that yeah, you know, based on uh, my experience, though, that uh, it's like you may not need all that stuff right away, but let's just say maybe within five years from now or so, that uh, it's possible that, uh, you know, if you were to get insurance, then, uh, you know, yeah, you know, this umbrella right here would actually show uh, the, the differences right here to where there were certain days of the week where we had about maybe two, it rained for an hour or something like that, maybe other days where it's nice and sunny and all that. And so that's why it seems that way, that yeah, yeah, I can't all divide it into different colors right here. But that's another reason why I thought that, um, you know, picking an umbrella would be a good example of uh, of an insurance policy just because of the fact that, uh, you know, you, uh, whenever you look at that umbrella right there and you're 102, that, um, that, hey, that what does that really remind you of? It's supposed to remind you of uh, prevent you from getting wet, you know, preventing the rain from from getting on in, and plus prevent you, uh, you know, for anything that could be falling from the sky from falling on in. So that's why it seems that way, that like everybody might say, that, uh, that yeah, that uh, when we do speak about insurance, by the way, um, that, yeah, you may not see some of this debris, by the way. Um, yeah, you may not even see it. So in case of anybody's 102, that, uh, you know, if you're going to be outside for an hour or something like that, you may not see what could be falling from the sky. Yeah, you may not even see uh, what could be approaching you from the left. You know, so it's like a just-in-case, you know, situation. So everybody might say that, uh, you know, every time you think about insurance, by the way, during, during a time that you may not have been old enough really to buy insurance, but like everybody might say, you know, a few of us might say that, well, I actually bought the insurance policy just because, you know, my mom, uh, during a time, she told me that I wasn't old enough to be able to buy it. You know, you had to have a credit card to do it or a coupon or something, but uh, still, that uh, in case of anybody's 102, that, uh, you know, another reason why buying insurance, uh, any source of insurance policy is about the benefits, right, uh, knowing about that uh, you know, you just never know uh, what could you know what could be the possibility that could happen, right? And uh, and so that's why it seems that way toward it. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, that uh, you look back at your insurance and you want to know too that um, that yeah, that you know, you look back at your policy and people want to know too that uh, hey, that uh, having insurance by the way meant is is toward it that you know, yeah, you did not see this coming right here, all this rain right here. If you would not had any insurance at all, then this possibly could have happened. You know, this could have happened if you didn't have it. So you would maybe show somebody, uh, explain to somebody about with or without no insurance, based on your experience, right? That uh, you would show somebody uh, that uh, this this could possibly would have happened if you didn't have the insurance compared to if you would have had insurance. If you would have had insurance, and then uh, this right here would have been taken care of, or that this... Uh, this right here, you would have already had it taken care of, and um, so that's why it seems that way. That uh, whenever you do think about uh, insurance, by the way, in your 102, that um, that hey, that why do you think anybody uh, would uh, want to buy the insurance, even though if maybe that uh, they might say that uh, you know they don't really even use it very much at time or for any reason at all, that uh, you know, do you really? Uh, fit in those categories to where that if you're maybe 30 years of age or older or maybe if you do have health problems or maybe if it is a property or farmer's insurance or anything like that and so you would maybe tell somebody that uh you know you go ahead and draw a picture of possibly what the possi what's the worst possibility that could happen without the insurance and they said that well you know thanks for explaining to me because if I would not had insurance for sure, then if that would have happened, then it's possible that um, then maybe the situation would have been a lot worse than that. You know, it's like, yeah, you go ahead and draw out to where that uh, if you did not have insurance for sure, then, then it's possible that, uh, you know, then, yeah, if you would not have insurance, then, uh, you know, you could have pop make a lot, you know, this could have been ruined or this... Uh, yeah, so, you know, anybody might say that, um, 
it's all about the standby process and all that but still you know you go ahead and use an umbrella right here as an example right here but uh, everybody might say that uh you know really that uh you know anything uh, you know yeah like rain and all that a lot of that you know yeah it it, it won't you know, it won't hurt you or nothing but like everybody might say that uh you know if you do think about uh an umbrella for any reason at all and for sure everybody might say that um that having insurance i guess would be a, a good start you know just because of the fact that in case of maybe if the umbrella gets damaged if the umbrella gets damaged or if your clothes get damaged then you know check that out it's like yeah warranty i guess it goes by warranty but they say yeah you can buy a warranty but uh still anything that possibly that that could get damaged or you know, ruined and you can explain to somebody about you know why why do you think that that is you know why should you uh, buy insurance and um and say that you're know, the for the worst possibility that could happen right and um so anybody that might even want to too that uh for the worst possibility that could happen and uh, you know one of those possibilities is to where yeah well you know you didn't notice that from before so anything yeah anything that could have been coming up at some point you know anything that does come up at some point and you know you didn't notice it or if you didn't see it and it's like yeah you go ahead and give that to the test right there about that uh, you know do you think that you can draw the details about the fact that uh you know, with no insurance and then with insurance that, that you know what do you think that could have happened if you did not have insurance if you did not have insurance could you draw out the details about you know what the damage will look like you know if you did not have insurance compared to if you would have had insurance but anyway um now i thought i'd go ahead and show everybody here this picture right here but uh, i have right here walking right here and uh yeah i thought we would like to see those pictures right there but uh, still it's like one of those to where that the reasons why you, know, you would want to go ahead and get insurance and um and everybody might say that yeah well for sure you would want to buy insurance just because of the fact that, that maybe if you saw an ad in the paper or if you if you refer to that insurance company because you saw somebody you you know somebody who has the exact same insurance and you decided to, to sign up you know, just to try it out and uh, but still in case of anybody's warning or two that the number of reasons why you would want to think about getting getting insurance but um but i just really think that the best answer would be also is as to where that yeah that uh, you go ahead and check it out based on your experience though a number of times that you get tired of, of having to pay to replace something or maybe if it is about the fact that uh you know if you don't have insurance by the way um, then what are the consequences of uh, not having the insurance compared to having the insurance and uh, everybody might say that uh you know what are the consequences of uh having the insurance and compared to not having the insurance well you know first of all it's like you know yeah in case of anybody's 102 that uh you know yeah that uh, if you want to cause if there was damage made to maybe somebody else's property or maybe if it is related to about the fact that uh that yeah you know incidents that do happen and uh and also that um based on your experience based on your experience though that after you buy something you you get tired of of uh you know having to buy your know, replacement you know, i'm like yeah you know any source of replacements or maybe like everybody say if you do not have insurance on something then this is what you would have to do you know they would probably say then you would have to order another one and that you would have to buy you know, another one but what if with your through your insurance that uh, they'll tell you that uh that all you really have to do is just pay the standard uh you know yeah standard fee i'm like oh yeah so it's like uh so every time you do think about that you're one oh two that um that whenever you have insurance though uh, that uh what's one thing that you normally uh, would have to pay for compared to whenever you don't have insurance and everybody might say that uh you know that's something that i don't really think about too much at the time if i'm going to be staying out in the rain yeah if i'm going to be staying out in the rain for sure you know the things that you don't think about until you know yeah until you get that bill in the mail or something like that or until you get that letter in the mail yeah really what are the consequences about that well 
the consequence is mainly about the fact that uh, you know if you don't have insurance you see uh, what the worst thing that can happen you know then compared to whenever you have insurance whenever you have insurance you see on there about what the situation could have been and how much you could have saved if you would have had insurance. But anyway, uh, talk about for insurance, right? But anyway, talk to, you know, thanks, for, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.